in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen, amen. psalm 44 3 it was not their sword that they won the land nor did their arm bring them victory it was your right hand your arm and light of your face for you loved them dear youngsters and children today we are to reflect upon psalm 44 verse 3 let us thank our lord jesus for the wonderful gifts which he has given to each one of us let us thank him for the blessings which he has given every one of us the graces which he has showered upon us the love which we have received our friends our family our job the education which we all are having today today he here we are to welcome him into our midst to find jesus in this sacrament and to be convinced of this sacrament that he is there to listen to each one of us let us talk to him let us interact with him he is there amidst us let us now kneel down and welcome the lord psalm chapter 54 verse 4 but surely god is my helper the lord is the upholder of our life this morning let us praise and let us thank god let us worship him let us worship the father let us worship the son let us worship the holy spirit let us worship him in spirit and in truth surrendering our lives before the lord our difficulties our irritations to him let us surrender let us worship the father son and the holy spirit and say to him father we love you we worship and we adore you jesus we love you we worship and we adore you spirit we love you we worship and we adore you father we love we worship Once again, I know the Father. Father, we love you, we worship and adore you. Glorify thy name. Glorify thy name in all the earth. Glorify the name of the Father. Glorify thy name. Glorify Lord, bless all the children and youngsters present. Bless their studies, their future plans, all their endeavors. Bless whatever responsibilities that they have been entrusted. Bless them abundantly, Lord. Remove whatever obstacles that they are facing in their lives. Oh Lord, we come before you. Have mercy on each of their lives. Lord, have mercy. John chapter 14 verse 6 I am the way and the truth and the life Jesus is present in front of us he is the way the truth and the life he is our best friend that is why John 15 14 says you are my friends this morning let us accept Jesus as our best friend and let us worship him and tell him Jesus we love you we worship you we adore you We love, we worship, you. we worship and adore you, Jesus. Jesus, we love, we worship, we worship and adore. Glorify Thy name, glorify Thy name in all the earth. Lord, we glorify your name this morning. Glorify thy name. Glorify thy name. Glorify thy name in all the
glorify thy name. Let's glorify the name of Jesus. Glorify thy name and all the earth. My dear young brothers and sisters and my little children. Yes, it was not by their sword that they won, but it was because of our Lord's right hand that we were all chosen, we were all elected. Once there was a boy who was searching for God. In fact, to buy God, he went around with 50 rupees. He went to the shop and asked for God. The shopkeepers fooled him and sent him away. He climbed different shops and at the end there was a rich man who was having a shop and he asked this particular child, my dear little child, what do you want? He said, I need God. I need to buy God. So the shopkeeper asked, why do you need God? He said, I don't have my father with me. When I was three years old, he died. And now my uncle who is taking care of me is hospitalized. And the doctor said, if you need him to be saved, you need God so that I come out. I have come out to buy God. Knowing the innocence and perseverance of the child, the shopkeeper said, yes, I have God with me. He gave little honey in a small bottle and sent the child back. Child took that particular honey, thinking that it is God, went to the hospital and gave. Of course, the uncle recovered and then the bills were all paid. So the uncle wanted to find out what is the reason they didn't want to pay the bill. The doctor said there was a person who came and paid the bill and the uncle found out that was the same shopkeeper who gave the bill, who paid the bill for all of them. So he went and asked, why did you pay the bill for me? He said, it is just because of that child's innocence and perseverance that I have paid the bill. Today, the question to each one of us, to you and to me is that, am I ready to find God in us? Am I ready to welcome him into our midst? We know we have got many good things in our life. Good job we have, good family we have, good parents we have, good friend circle we have. Yes, good and good. Everything is good. We are happy about it. In the same way, we need to say or we need to thank him for all these blessings which we have received. It is a human tendency to say that it is of my hard work. It is of my parents' hard work that I am having all these enjoyment, all these luxuries of my life. It is just because of my intelligence that I own all these things. Dear brothers and sisters, dear youngsters, dear children, if you didn't have a good life given by God, if you didn't have a good parent who took care of you, if you didn't have a good life or a good health you didn't, which you are enjoying, if you didn't have, if you were physically impaired or you had any difficulties, what could have been the answer? The intelligence what you own, the good health which you own, the good parents and the good job which you all are having is a free gift from the Lord. Today, we need to remember that and thank God for all the good gifts which he has given to us. Remember the gifts, the grace and the blessings which we have received from him. Still we complain. I don't have an answer for my problems. I don't find meaning for my life. I don't have a rich parents which others are having. Today the question is how am I happy with what we have? We all tend to put a full stop saying that my life is ending here. Instead of that today I am inviting you instead of that full stop put a comma. 
you have many more things to be added into your life you have a big life left for you to write to make it your own yes we need to believe that god will take care of everything which is given to each one of us do you think that the god who sacrificed his own son will not save you in the psalm we heard it was his hand what was his hand it was the holy spirit it was his arm what was his arm that was jesus christ himself through holy spirit and jesus he is there to save each one of us today jesus is telling each one of us do not worry do not worry god is there to take care of you do not worry he is there to help you we have a long life to go if your life is in your hand if you have a reason to write more stories of your own be happy be contented that god will help you yes whatever is your name today jesus is calling you johnny rickson or whoever it may be today jesus is telling you you have a story of your own to be written let us pause for a moment let us experience the touch of jesus in our life and make a small prayer lord jesus i come before you asking your healing touch upon each one of us sometime we fail sometime we face challenges in our life today as i am in your presence at your feet asking your holy spirit asking your jesus son to come and touch and heal each one of us may almighty god help each one of us for that let us now kneel down for the final blessing from the lord my dear youngsters and children today we reflected upon particular psalm 44 verse 3 today homework for you is to by heart this particular verse it was not by their sword that they won the land nor did their arm bring them victory it was your right hand your arm and light of your face for he loved them a small prayer for you to make if you find anybody facing difficulties even in our social media televisions mobiles you see many people facing problems make a small little prayer whenever you see someone struggling in life and may almighty god help each one of us for that amen